looks at the arm underneath. Get looked ahead. He goes elbow deep. Sean, in a couple weathers, you guys weren't going elbow deep, you were going forearm deep. That's when they're going to say you're choking because your forearm's across the throat. If you go elbow deep, they're not going to call you for a choke. Or it's not a choke. Because that's right. Sometimes guys don't go elbow deep. You're across the throat. The other coach starts yelling. He's choking him in, in the arm. They go elbow deep. And they start yelling at all. We got to yell is he's elbow deep. The official's going to look at that. He's not going to call a choke. You've got to get elbow deep. Kyle gets that all the way in elbow deep. And you're at the forearm. That's when they're going to call a choke. <laughs> Just like that. And I want to use the mat if I can to post so he can't pull it back down. Okay? So I use the friction of the mat on my elbow to keep that here. And then I work I'm, and I work myself to this position. Okay? When I get once I get here, I want to use this foot just like this. And notice how I'm hooking still on this leg. I'm gonna push, 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 push here. Arch my back, get my count. Once I have my counts, I come up top here, swear. No wonder you fucking pay kids. God, that shit sucks. <laughs> I just want to give up on one day. That shit hurts so bad. Again, he just slides in me, here. I can't get that hip turk, so I come underneath and I jam that elbow up. Once I jam the elbow up, I want to come, I want to put my hand on the back of his head all while keeping my elbow back. All right, if I come down this way, he's going to be able to tuck and it's going to change the entire nature of the move. All right, now I'm trying to kind of pull like this. There's too much separation. I can try to chalk up here, but I can get, I really want to keep my elbow on his elbow. It really isolates and freezes him up. So I come, come up with my elbow, and I like to come underneath in his armpit, just like that. Put my knee right here in his butt after I get to the side. Push that forward. I'm pulling him back to me with his arm. And I like to come just like that, hand behind the head, until I get on my count. All right? I really got to make sure I force his hips forward that way so that he can't move as much. Okay, I use this ankle to kind of hook that leg if I can, and I sit here so the ref gives me all my counts. Come up top. Okay. 
Any questions on that? The reason this works really well going either direction is that when he knows that I'm looking for that power half, what's he gonna do? He's gonna tuck that arm, which is exactly what I want, coming back around for that hip turn. All right? Any questions? Let's get back to that. Ready, one, two.